think I was looking at my life, you know, I was, I was stuck in a cycle, you know, I'm going around in circles, you know, like I'm taking three steps forward and five steps backwards, you know, like my relationship was always having issues, trust issues, I didn't love myself enough, you know, I would like um, self-medicate if I was having problems in my personal life, I would fix this with gambling, smoking, alcohol, so, and this was a constant, a repeating pattern of mine, you know, and I'm looking around me as well, my environment wasn't healthy, I also have young children to think about, so when I'm seeing my life not going forward, and I'm seeing my children suffering because of this, and I'm seeing my loved ones not be happy, I feel like I need to make a change. So this is this has caused me to look for answers, you know, and this is why I'm this is why I was researching a lot, just looking for answers. I don't know what I was looking for, but then it just it's almost like when you do plant medicine, you feel called to the medicine. The medicine calls you. You have to prepare mentally and you have to prepare physically, and the more you prepare, the better your journey will be. So for me, the dieta was very important. Dieta meaning what foods are you consuming? Are you consuming foods that have a very high vibration or a low vibration? So if your body is in a very um, uh, high vibrational state where you're consuming foods that are like almost alive, you know, your foods are alive, you eat plants, then when you go to do the medicine, the medicine works with you very well. So you have a much deeper experience. This is my understanding. So I was preparing myself this way also to avoid um, drugs and alcohol, to avoid even sex. So your energies aren't being shared with people because sex is a very, very strong energy. So you want to be careful with what you're doing with your body and with your mind. You want to avoid stressful circumstances. You want to try to meditate, try to be at peace in mind. So I was very wary of my surroundings. I was avoiding nightclubs, loud music, horror movies, all this kind of stuff, just to keep myself in a nice, mindful place. So when I go there, I'm, I'm prepared, you know? First time was mind blowing, you know? I remember it because um, it was not long ago, it's maybe uh, March 2019. So this was my first experience on ayahuasca. And um, like, it blew me away. That's all I can say, you know? I remember my first night vividly. It's like a completely new world. You're being transported to a new world, uh, like a, and you, everything is alien. All these feelings you're having, all these experiences, all these emotions. It was the hardest thing I ever done, and the most rewarding thing I ever done at the same time. You know, it's like um, one of the greatest adventures you can ever have. You don't take it lightheartedly. You know, it's a big, big journey, and you have to prepare mentally and physically. And for me, um, it was very, very overwhelming. So your ego is trying to try to look after yourself. So you're questioning everything. You're thinking about everything. You're in your mind. This is why people who meditate a lot have very good plant medicine journeys because people who meditate are able to take themselves away from their mind so they can just live from the heart and whatever experience happens it happens to them they let it happen naturally I think my first night was very confused you know like what happened I think it was showing me how confused I was it was rewiring my brain so I was very confused but also like um I at the, at the end of it I felt like I accomplished something great it's really beautiful to feel connected to nature, to feel connected to people on a different way like I've never experienced before, you know. It's almost like it opened my heart and other people around me had their heart opened as well. So I'm able to connect with people on a different level that I'd never experienced. So this was a feeling of love, of community that I'd never experienced before. So this was my big takeaway from my first experience was just, wow, what a beautiful journey, what a crazy journey and what an amazing feeling of love and community, you know.